let us now take a look at the Fitbud client application. On the home screen, you can see the workout and the cardio followed by the nutrition section that your client is supposed to perform. On the top left corner, today's date as well as the week and the day will be mentioned. And on uh, tapping on the calendar icon, your clients can move to a different day as well. On tapping on the video call icon, the video call booking will open up and your clients can select a slot from there. Now let's take a look at the workout followed by the cardio. On tapping on a workout, your client will be able to see a quick summary of all of the exercises that they are supposed to perform. And once they click on the start icon, they will be prompted to connect their wearable device to the app. On starting the workout, there will be a timer followed by a countdown before each exercise so that your client has time to prepare for that particular exercise. Here we see the first exercise which is a duration based one and uh, the duration, the set, the name of the exercise in the video will be visible here. On tapping on this icon, your client will be able to see the previous duration of the exercise that they have done in any previous workout. Now the next exercise is a high knee exercise which is once again a duration based one and your client can move to the next exercise or the next set by tapping on the arrow icon on the bottom left corner. Now, your client can also switch to a different exercise and then add the reps and weights here. For the rest time, they can choose to complete the entire rest time or move to the next by tapping on the arrow button. There are certain session settings that your clients can manage. They can switch off the auto forward option and lock the reps and weights after they've completed the entire workout, mute the video and stop the audio cues as well. Once the workout has been marked as completed, your client can then use this uh, to mark how easy or moderate or hard the workout was for them and it's, it's a scale based option that makes it easy for your clients to do so. The calories and the heart rate will be visible from the wearable device that your client has connected. Once the workout has been completed, the total duration will be seen here and your client can switch to the log section and then for any exercise which has not been marked, they can simply come in and enter the reps, the weights or the duration. Now we'll move to the nutrition section and in the nutrition section on the top, uh, the green part you will be able to see uh, the total calories and the macro breakup that you have provide, provided to the client. And uh, after that, browsing recipes, meal plans and supplements will be visible here. Once your client clicks on the meal plan, they will be able to see exactly what you have assigned to them and they can click on the plus button beside any of the item to actually add that to the logging system. Here you can see that apple cider and lemon has been added. They can also click on browse recipes to search for the recipes here. And lastly, if they click on the supplement plan, the pre-workouts and uh, any of the supplement plan that you've added to the client's profile will be visible. In case your client wants to add something that was not available in the meal plan, they can click on the plus add button and search for the food item here. The food database that is available to you on the dashboard will also be available to your clients here and your client can simply select which food item they want to add and then tap on the add button here. Now we also have the shopping list feature and once your client clicks on the shopping list option, every food item that you have added in the meal plan will be visible here. Your client can select the duration of the list that they want to see, whether it's this week, next week and so on and so forth. And then they can make the purchase accordingly. So this is all about the nutrition section. We'll move to the next section that is the water and your clients can tap on the plus button in the middle of the glass to keep on adding the water that they're drinking. The last section is the activity section where the steps, move, energy, distance and flights will be visible and this data will be taken from the wearable device that your client has connected. Moving to the messages section, this is where your client will be able to connect with you directly. They can send you a message from here, a photo, a video recording, etc. And any new message will also be received here. In the progress section, your clients will be able to make the check-ins and review their any previous check-ins as well. And they will be able to compare their progress from the day that they started and to the latest check-in that they have made. All of the measurements will also be tracked here and your clients will be able to see the measurements as well. And if they click on any particular measurement, they will be able to see the data for, the, for that particular measurement of the entire duration that they have been training with you. A graph will also be visible here for better visualization. 
moving back to the problems section now at the bottom you can see that there's the exercises section and all of the logs for each individual exercise will be visible here so the app crunch that you can see on the screen this is exactly um, wh where it shows that these are the number of reps that a client did on this particular day and the data is also visible in a graphical representation Lastly, we move to the trends in this section and trends is basically where your client will be able to check their own compliance rate for the workouts that they have done. Uh, so the total number of workouts for that week that were assigned and the workouts that they completed fall similarly followed by the nutrition where the total calories and the daily average will be visible, how much water they drank, what was the compliance rate for the steps, etc. Lastly, we move to the profile section where your clients will be able to manage some of the settings on the app as well as their own profile. They can click on the connected apps to connect with Apple Health, which will then connect to the Apple Watch, a Fitbit, or in case of uh, an Android device, Google Fit as well. We then move to the resources section where your clients will be able to see any resources that you have added. So any ebooks, documents, links that you add to the resources section will be visible here.